Quilters, welcome to our live rewind of our earlier CUBE event. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica Botker, Corporate Marketing Specialist. Oh, hey Quilters, thank you so much for joining us today. Listen, we have some cocoa and some cookies and some inspiration. That's right. <laughs> Pam, I am so happy to be able to join you today as we revisit the CUBE program that you did this fall. On Facebook, we got our beverages ready, we we've do. got cookies, and we're ready to share. I'm excited about that. Okay, listen, we know how busy you are right now, especially right this is Christmas week. Yes. Holy smokes. <laughs> but we thought it might be a good time for you to take a little break, relax, and let us talk about the cube system. Because I feel like so many of you own the cube or maybe get in the cube for Christmas. Maybe. This is the way to go. That's absolutely right. We know you've all been busy. You've been working really hard to make the season bright, just like we have. Yes. Uh, this year's holidays may look a little different than usual, but we think you deserve a chance to take a break from the craziness and join us for a little inspiration. Yes, and a little different craziness. A okay, little different a little craziness. bit. All right, and maybe you need to pick up a few goodies for yourself or oh, somebody that you love. Be. Hey, for you last minute shockers, AccuQuilt offers online gift certificates. Now you can choose any amount that you want to send and you can send it via email so it's in your loved one's inbox on Christmas morning. Great Brilliant. idea. Great idea. Now, it wouldn't be a event with Pam and I if we didn't give something away. I'm excited. Let's okay. give some stuff away. So to qualify to win, you needed to register for this event. And that's it. Yeah. Our first winner, we're already going to have a winner. Oh, Our oh first my goodness. winner today is going to win the Go Cube Mix and Match 6-inch finish block. <gasps> now, I love the 6-inch. I do too. I think I use it the most of anything. Yeah. But if you're not familiar with our cube, it includes eight dies and a cutting mat and a pattern booklet all in an organized a block. box. There we go. Our winner of the 6-inch cube is Carla W. from Springdale, Arkansas. Carla, congratulations! Look at this, we're like a minute into the show and we're giving we're stuff, away. giving stuff away. I love it. Because it's Christmas week. It is. <laughs> and you should just be hanging out with us. That's right. All right, quilters, today we're going to talk all about our Go Cube system and the grid system that you need to make the most of your cubes. Yes. Okay? Now, Eric and I, we get this question all the time. What is a cube? Yes. What size cube should I buy? Yes. Why do I need a cube? We're going to answer all of those questions That's today. That's right. That's right. Yep. This program was so popular when you covered the cube earlier this fall that we really felt like we should revisit it so that everybody could be sure to see it. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get back to the basics. Yes. All right. So the cube system comes in five sizes. A six inch finish block, which yes. we just gave away. Yes. 8, 9, 10-inch finish block, and a 12-inch finish block. Now, all of the shapes in the cube are the same shapes. Right. They're just different sizes. Mm -hmm. And we've built in that quarter-inch seam allowance. So if Erica says to me, hey, Pam, do you, can I get a 5-inch square? I'm going to say, ooh, do you want a 5-inch square or a 5-inch finish? finish? Those That's are right. two different dies, okay? But we'll talk about that. We will. Combine all of those eight dies together and you can make over 72 mix and match blocks. Those are, listen to this amount, free, free. patterns. At AccuQuilt.com, you can just go in and download them. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Well, and of course, we've got a special for we you do. today, too. So for today only, just for you, you can get an additional 15% off site-wide. Now, some exclusions apply. Right. But that means with that 15% off, it can be up to 40% off of dies, Yes. up to 57% off cutters, and up to 31% off of our amazing cubes. That's amazing. Now, this offer is only available till midnight tonight. Central time. Central time. Yep. That's right, because that's where we are. We are. Visit AccuQuilt.com slash party and use the code COZY15 at checkout to save. Now, all these cubes are also available at your local retailers. Yes. And the 8-inch cube here, if you order it online today, is only $165.74. 
Amazing. Saving you $54.25. I mean, that's a huge saving. And the code is COZY15. COZY15. Because we want you to be at home being all cozy, and we're going to give you 15% more off. There you go. To get your order in during the show, you can use your phone's camera. You can capture the QR image here at the bottom of the screen, and it'll take you right to the website. If you don't have access to a QR reader, you'll want to open a new tab in your browser. Yep. Click that little plus sign at the top. Go to the very top box and type in AccuQuilt.com slash party. That's what we're having. Now, don't forget, you can purchase these also individually, whatever you want. Right. You're going to AccuQuilt.com or you can buy them from your local retailer. Yes. All right, and Quilters, AccuQuilt offers financing options through bread. Yes. As low as 0% annual percentage rate. For more information about financing through AccuQuilt, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. Perfect. Okay. All right, Erica, let's get started. She, Erica's going to open, I'm going to yes. take her she's drink gonna here. She's going to take my beverage here. Yes, and she's going to open up an eight-inch cube. And here's our cube. Yes. So we want to show you why and how amazing this is. So we're going to open it up. On the outside, it's going to show you those eight shapes that we talked about earlier. We're going to pull it off. Get ready. Ta-da. You have and to say that go. when you open it. Yeah, or that. Um, so you're going to see we've got three different folders in here. We're going to pull out the first one because my friend Pam taught me if you do that, you won't break a nail. Yes, first world problems. And inside right here, there, Miss Chelsea. you're going to have a mat. You're going to have a pattern booklet. Yep. Right there. Okay. But wait, there's more. Yes. We'll so move this out. the exciting part really comes when we get to the dies. So this box set, you'll see here we've got eight, our first four of the eight shapes. And they're all numbered, and the numbers are on the pocket, the numbers are on the die, so you can put them back and you can get them in the right place. There's and stay a organized. There's a kind of organized, right? So we've got our shapes one through four. We're going to open up the next one. We're going to talk about these shapes. So hold on. And you've got the next four right here. And all of these are designed to work together again to make over 72 different quilt blocks. Right. How amazing is that? It is. And we they come in their own storage containers, right. so you can put things in and out as you need to. It's just beautiful. It is fabulous. Okay. So All right. This is the cube. Let there me we get go. these out of your way because Pam's got things to show you. I do. So today we're going to start by going through all the shapes of the Go Cube Mix and Match yes. blocks. Today I'm using the 12 inch cube. How come? Because then you can see it. That's right. Okay. If I use the six inch cube, they're so little tiny. Okay. So the most important thing to remember is that the cube system is based on a four patch system. Right. Okay. Don't think, oh, I'm getting eight inch cube. It's going to make eight inch blocks. There's some sewing involved. There is sewing involved. Okay. Yes, I'm just because we're quilters, right? I'm just saying. Okay. So shape number one in every single cube is a square. Yes. A big square. All right, so four of these sewn together, in this case, would make a 12-inch finished block. And okay. remember, we've included that seam allowance, so that quarter-inch seam allowance is factored in. Right, okay? So it's a square. Every shape one is a square. All right, now shape two in every cube are smaller squares. There we go. Okay, so here we go. So in every cube, we have big squares and little squares, and that's going to help us with our grid system. Okay, so Erica, if you took shape number one yes. and cut it in fours and sewed it together, would it equal um, the six-inch block? It would not. How come? Seam allowance. Seam allowance. Okay. But if you take four of your number two squares and sew them together, it's going to equal shape number one. Everything equals shape number one. Yep. Okay, that's what you need to remember. Okay, shape number three in this case. Quilters, what shape is this? It is a triangle. What kind of triangle is it? Pam, I know. Erica. <laughs> it's a half square triangle. A half square triangle. You're exactly right. So how many of these are we going to need together to make shape number one? That's going to be two. Two of those. Okay. Now, how did you know that it was a half square triangle? Well, halves are two. Yes, I cut it in half. Yes. Okay. And we told you. Okay. And because we've got that seam allowance, then when we sew these together, two number threes sewn together is going to equal number one. Shape number one. It all goes back to shape number one. 
So, so far in the cube, you can see we have big squares and little squares, big half square triangles. And then the next shape is this shape, and these are quarter square triangles. Right. Okay, so Erica, you want to talk about the difference between a half square triangle and a quarter square so triangle? So quarter square triangles are designed to sew four together to equal shape number one. Right. Now, a lot of times quilters will say, can I take two of those and just sew them together like and this. use them like half square triangles? And while technically you could, there's two problems with that, Pam, right? The math. The math is one, and the math is something that I don't like to mess with. Yeah. But the second is that you're going to end up with your bias edges on the outside instead of on the inside. Oh. And you don't want to do that because down the road, that's going to cause you some problems. Yes. And Equal is so smart because we made the quarter square triangle shape number four. four. Look so at us. Four of them sewn together. The seam allowance is in there again. Yep. It's going to give us one of shape number one. Okay. All right. Everybody good? All right. Now, if you have questions, you can put them in the comment section. Is that true, Christina? She's, she's saying nodding. She's saying yes. Yes. Okay. So shape number five in every cube is this shape. What shape is this again, Erica? Again, we've got another half square triangle. <gasps> what? This is our smaller half square triangle, and this is the shape Pam calls our workhorse. It is. Half square triangle is my all-time favorite shape. You can make so many things with Pretty half square Pretty much triangle. anything if you put your yep. mind to it. Yep. Now, some of you... Do a little math in your head. I know it's Tuesday, but you can do this. Okay, how many of these do you have to sew together to equal shape number one? Erica? Do, 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 yes, do. Eight. eight. How many do you have to sew together to make a 12-inch block? 32. That is so much sewing. That's a lot of sewing. But Some of you are going to say, I'm never going to use shape number five. But you will. You will. Watch this. Yes. Okay, so first of all, here's the thing you need to know. So I taught this class, Erica, you probably knew this, but I taught this class for almost a year before I realized if you sew two of shape number fives together, what did they equal? A shape number two. Shape number two. It works. Whoever did the math was not Erica or I. That's right. They did it correctly. They don't let us do math. Okay. Now this is... One of my favorite shapes. What shape is that, Miss Erica? That is our square on point. It is a square on point. So the difference between a square and a square on point is how they're meant to stay. So this is shape number one. It is a square. All the sides are equal. Shape number six, all the sides are equal. This is like a sofa COVID square. You're laying <laughs> on your sofa, on your back, watching Netflix. Have you not done that all of COVID? <laughs> yeah, haven't we all? So much of that. But shape number six is a square in point. It's like a ballerina. It's meant to live on its tippy toes. Oh, let me. I'm close. Thank you. So to make it equal to shape number one, what are you going to use around the outside, Erica? You're going to use our friend the shape number five. Shape number five. So now it's made the block square in a square, which is actually one of my favorite squares. And you'll see that so so often in quilt patterns. You can. And you can just chain piece for days. Yep. Okay? All right. Shape number seven. We're going to move our little fives over okay. here for a minute. You got two. I got two. Okay. There we go. Shape number seven is what shape, Erica? <gasps> the parallelogram. Have you ever cut those by hand? I have, and I do not like doing it. It's not good. It's not. I almost said another There's word. There's bias involved. There is. You cut There's strips measuring. and regular rectangles There's and cut time. it up. Okay. Now, Miss Chelsea, this is what I call a directional shape. Yes. Okay, so Eric and I and our whole team are here. Listen, they came for the cookies, okay? Yes. They actually They're came really to help, cookies. but mostly they came for the cookies. Okay, we are here in Omaha, Nebraska. Yes. Eight hours west of us is Denver. Eight hours east of us is Chicago. Yes. If I want all my parallelograms to go to Denver and have lunch at the Rodizio Grill, yes. I'm going to lay my fabric facing up. Okay. But if I want to have to go to Chicago and eat at Giordano's Pizza, right. we're going to fan fold the fabric back and forth. Right side what up, are you gonna, right side down. What are you going to tell people if they have a block that has a parallelogram? Do a test block. Make a test block. We say this all the time. And, and we say this out of experience because and we love. all run into this issue when making quilts. Yeah. Okay, so what's the two shapes we need on the outside to make a rectangle? Oh, I bet it's our friend, the shape number five. It is. Here we go. 
And here's another one. Perfect. There we go. Yep, we'll make it straight here. Make okay, them. so when you put them together, he equals a rectangle. Wouldn't it be amazing, Erica, if in every cube there were rectangles? We need a rectangle. Oh, shape number eight? Is a rectangle. Is a rectangle. Okay. <laughs> so when you're thinking to yourself, I wonder how big this shape is when it's sewn together. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All you have to do is look and say, oh, it equals shape number eight. So that means two shape number eights sewn together are going to equal number one. Yes. But two of these units sewn together would also equal number one. See, there's all sorts of possibilities. It's all going to take us back to number one. Everything goes back to number one. Okay, so there's some terms you want to look at if you're looking in a pattern. Because right. don't we have people all the time say, I have this pattern, it's not built for AccuQuilt. Right. How can I convert it? Right. Okay, there's some terms. So the first is an element. So let's use our parallelogram. It's the word of the day, use it three times. Yes. Okay, parallelogram, I've already used it three times, by the way. Um, it's just an element. It's just a shape within the blocks, right? right? Within right. the cube, within the quilt. Now I'm gonna add shape number five to the outside and it now becomes a unit, a rectangle unit. Right. When we're looking in the grid system, we always try to find the smallest unit. Right. It's usually a square, mm -hmm. okay? And then if we sew shape number eight to it, we've created a block. Right. So when you're looking at patterns, find that smallest unit, it's usually a square. And okay? this is gonna help you when you're converting patterns. It is. So. Okay, you have some magic to show us. We have some magic. So, flying geese. Flying geese are a basic building block for quilters. It is. There's a flying geese in every single cube. It's magic. So the body of your goose will be the quarter square triangle. That's shape number four. Right here? So right there, that's going to be our body. Okay. For the wings of our goose, we need our friend, shape number five. That half square triangle is going to create the wing on the sides, and now all of a sudden, we've got a flying geese. And Erica, do you have a specific way you sew them together? I do. I do too. Okay, I start with the left. I do too. We are of one brain. We are of one brain. Okay, so start here. I you want to talk about these. it? I will chain I will sew all of my yes. left sides together. Then I will press. Press it and away. And then I will go to the next. Now this is a great time to point out right down here on the corner. What have we done, Pam? We've cut off the dog ears. We have cut off the dog ears. No puppies yep. harmed. No puppies harmed. But from this point here to this point here is a perfect quarter inch seam. So we have specialized dog ears on so many of our yes. shapes. All of our triangles and our parallel, our um, quarter square triangles and mm -hmm. our tumblers have mm -hmm. specialized dog ears, lots of them. So when you sew a flying geese together, what shape does it make? It makes a rectangle. So if you want to know how big flying geese are in every cube, they are the same size as shape number eight. And just a quick little pro tip, your flying geese are always going to be twice as long as they are high. Yes. When they're finished. So in the 12 inch cube, they're three inches high by six inches wide. Mm -hmm. Oh, in the six inch cube, they're one and a half inches high by three inches wide. And so they're tiny. adorable. Erica likes such little it's things. Nice little things. Okay. Okay, Pam. Quilters often ask why they should add a cube to their collection. Yes. So what do you think makes a cube a necessary process? So the cube purchase. purchase, yeah. So purchase. the cube system has eight basic geometric shapes. Right. You know, we didn't just randomly pick eight shapes. Right. Otherwise right. there'd be a hexagon in here. <laughs> just there saying. Was, there was thought. There's put a in die there. for that. But when you think about it, you, we have big half square triangles and little half square triangles. Big squares and little squares. And so those elements mm -hmm. together are the basic building blocks of most patterns. Right. You could look at a pattern and dissect it through and go, oh, yeah, there's squares. Are they bigger or little? That's oh, right. Oh, there's half square triangles. Um, I would say quarter square triangles, half square triangles, mm -hmm. squares, the, the basics. So, so here's the thing. If you happen to have a little extra fabric sitting at home. Yes. Just in We case, know you do, by the way. We know there's case. a stash involved. This is a great way to cut that up and make it usable because you know it's all going to work together. It's yes. all, all those shapes are going to play well together. Yes. Yes. All right. right. Now, our cube design system is so genius. It's designed so that cubes can work together. Yes. Like the six and the nine and the six and the ten, and we're going to talk about it. But we have this great quilt pattern. Would you come back here, Erica, and yes. show it to all yes. of the world? So this um, it's called Epic Mix and Match Sampler. You want to talk about it? So this is made with 
four different sizes of cubes all used together. We've got our six, our eight, our nine, and our 12. Now, our friend the 10 is not included in this party because it wasn't built yet. It wasn't built yet. Yep. So but the other four are all in here. And it's a free pattern. It is available for download on AccuQuilt.com. The thing I love the most about it is that it has some elements that are like three-dimensional, like the little flaps and yes. stuff on it. Yes. Which so is it has so like fun. little prairie points that it are, are three-dimensional. Really cool pattern. Our good friend Tammy Miller, that's her favorite quilt. It is. All right, today only, just for you, because you're home hanging out with cocoa and cookies, we're going to give you an additional 15% off site-wide. Now, apparently on our site, we have tons of discounts already. Yes, yes. So an additional 15%. Some exclusions apply, but you can get up to 43% off dyes. If you um, were telling somebody to buy a dye today, what dye would you tell them to buy? I really wanted to buy a cube, but buy if a you, cube. If buy you a cube. want something what else... No, what size cube would you get them? Oh, gosh. Because Christina wants a 10-inch cube for Christmas. She wants Christmas. a 10-inch cube. Mm -hmm. I, I need a 10-inch cube for Christmas, too, because I don't have one yet. <laughs> she does not listening. Um, I use my 6-inch yes. a lot. She does. I love my 12-inch a lot. I but do. if I wanted something that wasn't a cube, yes. every quilter needs a 2-and-a-half-inch strip die. All day long. All day every long. Every single one. And make sure you get a mat to go with it, 10-by-24 oh, yes, mat. Indeed. Because what happens if you try to use a die without a mouth? Absolutely nothing. No. Right. Okay. All right. So visit AccuQuilt.com slash party and use the code COZY15, C-O-Z-Y. Hey, do you know there's a bold cozy die? There is. That would be another good one to buy. I know. Uh, check out to save. All the cubes are available from your local signature retailer as well. Now, the 8-inch cube that Erica opened is $165 and some change today. Yeah. If you use the code COZY15, you're going to save $54 and some change. That's, That's great. Right. So to get your order in now during the show, you can use your phone's camera to capture the QR image at the bottom of the screen, and it'll take you right to the site. Now, don't forget, you can also purchase whatever, these products yes. that we're talking about, but everything yes. else, at our website at AccuQuilt.com. You can also purchase them from your local AccuQuilt retailer. Excellent. Now, it's about time to choose another winner. I, I can't think, believe Pam. we're choosing no, another one. I'm just so excited. Okay, so this winner is going to get the Go Cube Mix and Match 8-inch block that I opened Lucky before. Duck. All those eight dies in the nice sleek box with the cutting mat and the pattern book. Yep. This winner is going to be Jane B. from Otis Orchard, Washington. Yay, Jane! Okay. Jane, Eric, and I both have lived in the Pacific Northwest in Washington State. We don't know where Otis Orchards is. So you have is to it, message us and tell us. Message us and tell us. Is it like by Port Orchard? It in, could be. In my head, I think that's probably okay. right. Okay. Jane D., we're going to send you one. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter where you live. You're going <laughs> to love it anyway. Okay. All right. Now, let's take it beyond. Let's take it another step. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about companions. So we have our companion set corners and also our companion set angle. Yes. Now a couple of things that you need to know. There are four dies in each companion block set. Compared to the eight in the cubes. In the mix and match, right. Now, you have to coordinate those with your mix and match. Yes. So they don't really stand alone. So if you have an eight inch, so Jane, who just won yes. the eight inch mix and match cube, then if she wants to have something to play with it, she needs the eight inch companion corners and angle. There you go. And they're in sale today, an additional 15% off, there James, you go. just so you know. And it's not like your friends in real life that are different sizes. They have right. to work. They right. Have, right, they're all gonna work together. Okay. So let's talk about corners first. Let's do. Okay. So remember, quilters, everything always comes back to shape number yes. one. Okay. Okay, so we left shape number one yep. up on the board. All right, so the first shape in the companion set corners is this shape. This is the chisel shape. Yes. Now, think about, Erica, how hard it is to cut this. Because you cut a strip, and then you cut a rectangle, and then you cut a smaller square. And then you mark it, and you sew it, and you cut it, and, and you, you trim, trim it. it and it's just, just put fabric on a die. Okay? But also, most directions for patterns are going to show you cutting a whole rectangle. Yes. And then sewing a square on top yes. of it and marking and then wasting all that fabric. And we love our fabric way too much wasted like that. Yes. And this is also a directional die, like yes. our parallelogram. Okay? So if you want everything to go to Denver and have lunch at uh, Rodizio Grill, they all face up. Half of them going to Giordano's. You're going to fan fold back and forth. Nick in our studio, he won a Giordano's pizza last time we did this. Oh. 
All right. Now, Erica, what's the shape on the top that we need to make it equal <gasps> to a rectangle? It's shape number five again. Shape number five. We told you you were going to use this one a lot. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Now, the next shape we have is called signature block. This is such a great shape. So do you want to talk about it, Erica, and why so, you would use it? One rate to use it would be in a signature quilt. And the signature quilt is going to be one where you've got the blocks together. And this is literally for people to sign or autograph right. in your quilt. Right. Very traditional block, but it's also a great design element. You can it do is. so much with we it. We have some really great patterns at AccuQuilt.com that use that. So if I wanted to equal shape number one, I'm going to add those workhorses, those shape number fives yep. to the out. Side. Exactly. So if you were doing um, a um, quilt where you want people to sign maybe for a <laughs> wedding, this would be a neutral color, and then these would be maybe the wedding colors. Right. Okay? Be perfect. Yep. Okay, now the next two shapes work together. These are um, 11 and 12, and they make bow ties. Yes. Now, bow ties are often called... Um, the square in the corner. Yes. So you want to talk about it, Erica, while I so put these up here? Pam's going to put these up here. And also, if we move them around, a snowball. A snowball, which is so appropriate for today in Nebraska. So appropriate. And they Holy tell us snow is coming. I know. So it's this square that has the corner cut off again and then a smaller half square triangle to go across the corner. And again, traditional directions would have you cutting whole squares and marking and sewing and trimming and wasting fabric. And we just don't think you need to do that. No. So quilters ask me all the time, they say, what's the difference between corners and angles? I'm going to tell you corners are like chunks and blocks. Mm -hmm. Angles are like stars and points. And I think we have a sample. We do. So okay. let me grab that real quick. All She'll right. be back. I'll be back. Okay. And as Pam pointed out, there is a top to this one. There is right here. Okay, right here. Okay. All right, so this is our um, sampler quilt uh, using the companion set corners. So here's those four mm -hmm. shapes. And you can see here's that signature block right. and the chisels. Here's bow ties and those tiny little half These square triangles. Bow ties too. And if we hold it up just a little bit, Erica, they can see. Yeah, we can fold it down I a have little. To fold it over. I have a little. She throw does. Um, so here's bow ties, and then here are snowballs. So depending on whether it's June or January, you can have snowballs. Or That's bow ties. right. All kinds of things. All sorts Perfect. of fun things. Thank okay. you, dear. I am going to put this over there. Okay. So now, just a reminder, today only, you're getting that extra 15% off site-wide. Now, there are some exclusions, but that can mean getting up to 43% off of dies. Yes. Up to 57% off of cutters and up to 31% off of cubes. Now, this order is only available until midnight, so order now. Yes. Visit AccuQuilt.com slash party and use the code COZY15 right. at checkout to save. All of these cubes are available also at your local retailer. Now, the 8-inch cube with our extra 15% off today is only going to be a little over $165. See, that's in some change. It's great. You're going to save over $54. That's it's awesome. It's a great, great savings. Now, to get your order in now during the show, you can use the phone's camera to capture the QR image at the bottom of the screen. It'll take you right to the site. Don't forget, you can also purchase these orders, these items, or other items yeah. at AccuQuilt.com, also from your local retailer. Now, quilters ask me all the time, um, before we talk about angles, what size cube should they get? Yes. So I'm going to tell you that um, the 8-inch cube comes in our Ready, Set, Go. Yes. Which is part of that sale today. And it's very versatile. It is. It's very versatile. It is. So I feel like if you have an 8-inch cube and a 2.5-inch strip die, because that's the one that works right. with the 8-inch cube, you can create all sorts of blocks. Great combinations. Yes. Yeah. So if you're looking to start, mm -hmm. um, I started with the 8-inch cube. Did you start with the 8-inch um, cube? I did. Yeah. I did. And then I worked my way up to the 12 and the 10. And Are let's show look at yes. this. Okay. We're going to do this. So we know it's hard to envision the different sizes. So before we get to angles, we just want to give you a little a little look here, because I made these so that they're all the same block, but in the different sizes. So this is one made with the six inch. Look how cute that is. Then we've got the eight inch. So see, look how it's just a little bit different. We've got the nine inch. Then we've got our 10 inch. 
And then last but not least, we've got our 12 inch. Right. And we're going to talk about how you can make blocks different sizes using yes. your cube. So um, my first one was an 8 inch cube. And then I bought the 12 inch because you can make 12 inch blocks with the 8 inch cube. It's a secret, but I'm going to tell you in a minute but how to look. do it. See? Ta-da, ta-da. So I use my 6 together with my 12 a lot. There you go. All right, let's talk about companion okay. sets. You did a good job on this, by the way. Oh, thank you. Okay. I should turn them over and show off. Like you should. You should show them how fancy it is <laughs> on the back. She twirled the back so they lay flat. All right. All right, let's talk about our companion set angles. Thank you, dear. You're probably going to need those. Ah, uh, probably. Okay, so the first two shapes in the companion set angles, um, this is the first shape. This is a triangle. It's for the beginning of triangle in a square. So, Erica, what kind of triangle is that? I believe this is an isosceles. It now, is. a lot of times quilters will look at this and they will think that it's an equilateral. See, like Meaning this. that all the sides are equal, but they really are not. So when you're looking to convert patterns or create new blocks, you want to know what side, what kind of triangle you have right. in there. It's going to make a difference yep. for you. Okay. So now shape number 14, AccuQuilt calls this triangle in a square sides. I call it a half rectangle, and I'll show you why in yep. just a second. Because uh, what shape is it? A rectangle. Did we cut it in half? Yes. We did. Erica, did we cut off the dog ears? We did. And added that quarter inch seam allowance? That's right. Okay. And it's going to line up perfectly for you, but it's also going to line up really well with the kite shape. Yep. And shape number 15. 13. Or 15. 13. Oh, yeah. We're going to show that one in just a second. Ahead. I know. Shh. She gets okay. So, shape number 14, really <laughs> important. Um, you have to fan fold that yeah. fabric back and forth in equal numbers. If you lay all your fabric yes. facing up, Look, shape left, the left side is going to work beautifully, but what has happened here? Hmm. So if you fan fold oh, them, then you get yep. a left and a right. And again, this is where that whole test block thing comes into play. Yeah, yeah. So triangle and a square, all right? Perfect. Next, now I can talk about it. Yes. Is the kite shape. We so love Erica, this shape. one of my favorite shapes is the kite shape. Mm -hmm. Now, it, if you use the six or the eight inch cube, if you have charm squares, Ooh. you can bust those up all day oh, long. so easily. So, Such cute, scrappy quilt possible. I love it. Okay. And did you know that the six, eight, nine inch cubes can fit in your go-me? Yes, that's right. You can. So if you have the six, eight, nine inch cubes, they fit in your go-me. Um, all of them fit in your go or your go big. That's right. Your studio adapter with the appropriate. Okay. So again, what's this shape we're going to use on the that's outside? That's our friend 14. Yes. Half but rectangles. once again, we need to go and fan fold those shapes so that right. we've got the two different directions so that Look, we can you make. You should have used this for your baby reveal our shape yesterday. I could have. <laughs> okay. Pink's and blue. Okay. So that is the kite shape. A great way to bust up your stash. You know, we talk about this all the time. Yes. That the AccuQuilt system, the great way to bust up your stash, use up your scraps. That's a great way to do it. Okay, shape 16. In your whole life, Erica, have you ever cut a trapezoid? Never without a die. Never. And I hope never to do it. Yeah, why? Because. Yeah, it's a dump. <laughs> okay. All right, so what's the two shapes we need on the outside? So we're going to need our two different half square triangles from our mix and match cube. So we're going back to shape number five, but we're also going to pull shape number three in for yes. this. Yes, yeah. So these are the shapes in the eight inch, or in the cubes and the companion set corners and angles. Yes. And I think we also have we a do. quilt over here. We do, we do. Wonderful, thank you. Thank you, dear. Here you go. All right, so now we've used the six inch, or the eight inch cube to make this. Um, so here's that trapezoid shape. Right. Here are those half rectangles or those triangle and square sides. And over there is triangle in a square and the kite shape. Yes. So again, look, it looks so points and uh, lots of stars. Stars. Kind of shapes yeah. that you can make with it. Love it. It's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. And that's Thank our you. party patch angle sampler. Did you know, Erica, we have hundreds of free patterns online? We do. Hundreds of free patterns. Just go in and look in there. That's right. All right, everybody good for a minute? Okay, okay. deep breath, because we've breath. got more information Just for you. Just a little bit more. Okay, so we talk about the cube system is based on a four patch system, yes. right? Yes, right. And sometimes people refer to that as the two by two grid. Right. All right, so here is my um, two by two grid. Okay, All right? perfect. Now, I've used my eight inch cube to make these blocks. So two columns, two rows, mm -hmm. 
makes an eight inch finished block. Perfect. Here's the question. Perfect. If you have the eight inch cube, can you make a eight inch block? Everyone say yes. 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 Everyone say yes. yes. There we go. There we go. <laughs> now, if you own the eight inch cube, can you make a 12 inch block? Yes. Everyone say yes. How right. are we going to do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to make our grid bigger. Okay. So now we're using the three by three grid, three columns and three rows. So instead of an eight inch block, I can now make a four and four and four is 12. Four and Perfect. four and four is 12 inch block. So think about that quilters when you're thinking about creating new blocks mm -hmm. and using it. That's why I love the eight inch cube and the 12 inch cube because right. they work together. Now, Erica, do you have a favorite three by three grid? I do, I do. And we've got one here we do. because it's the churn dash. It's churn a dash. classic, right? Yes. And what are the shapes that you need to make it? You're gonna need your number three. Right here. Right there. Your number one in the center. Yep. And your number eight, the rectangle. Yeah. So every cube has Ohio star, they have churn every dash. Every cube, they've got all these blocks in there. Right. What a great way. Think about versatility. Right. Again, this is another reason why everybody needs cubes in their life. And think about how they work together, yes. right? So you can use the six inch cube and the nine inch cube, the eight inch cube and the 12 inch. You could make a little bitty churn dash to put in the middle of the big churn you dash. You can. There are dies for all of that. All of that. All right, now here was one of the best aha moments I ever had. Okay. Um, a few years ago, we were um, all sitting around talking and um, we were talking about how you, I always tell quilters, take the cube, make bigger blocks. Okay. But did you know that you can take your cube and make smaller blocks? Yes. This was just <laughs> an aha, blow my mind moment. Okay, so this is called Friendship Star. And we used our six inch cube to make it. So this is the smallest unit. It's a one and a half inch finished yep. square. So how big is my block quilters? Do a little math. One and a half, one and a half, one and a half, four and a half inches finished. Wow. Now, Erica, is there a cube that has a square that is four and a half inch finished? That would be the nine inch. The nine inch cube. So I could make a nine patch within my four patch. That's right. So think about that quilters. Think about not only can you make them bigger, but you can make them smaller. That's right. All right, now, this was the one, so that was the first mind-blowing thing. Here's the next. Okay. So this is called hens and chicks. Yep. Okay, and Erica, are we hens or are we chicks? Well, I'd like to say we're chicks, but I'm thinking maybe we're hens. We're closer to the <laughs> hen part of it. Okay, all right. So there's some chicks in this room. Yeah, we have some younger yeah. ones. Okay, this grid system, uh, we use the eight inch cube. So the smallest unit is the center square. It yep. finishes to two inches. So this is actually a five by five grid. So one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes, Erica, shapes take up more than their share of the cube, they do. of the grid. They do. It's like people on airplanes. You ever been on an airplane? Yeah. Guy next or to you in takes a stadium. Up more? You know, when we used to be able to go to stadiums. Yes, or on airplanes. Yeah. Okay. So this is called hens and chicks. This actually makes a ten inch block from an eight inch cube. Amazing. It's just brilliant, okay? So think about that. So I can use my eight inch cube to make an eight inch uh, block or a six inch block or a 10 inch block or a 12. You've got it just so goes, many creative possibilities. Possibilities are endless. Okay. All right, should we have a trunk show? Let's have a trunk show. Because we love to do that. We do. So this is a great wall hanging or table runner and it's called Pencil Me In. <laughs> Look at this, this Isn't is so this cute. cute. Look at these tiny little half square triangles. Aren't Cut they those adorable? By hand, okay? No. Um, yeah, skinny pencils, so we used our cube and our companion set corners. Could be a great scrap buster. It could. Great, what a great teacher gift. What teacher, I mean, they don't need another mug, right? No. Give them a, give them a really fun give them wall cute. We'll just set them right here. Okay. We've got okay. our next one. This is the Spin Fresh, right? Yes. Is that yes, right? Is, no, okay. Spin Fresh is right there. Um, Christina, we're going to show you. Oh, we are. Christina's is right there. You can leave your mask on. This is the one Christina is making. It was on the long arm. It will be again. So we took this it off is, so you could see it because it's yes, so, so pretty. pretty. Look at this. So this is Spin Fresh. Christina used a whole bunch of scraps to make it. It's so pretty. And we have to get it finished because Christina won't start another project until she finishes For one. the love, I swear. We're working on it. We're her. working on it. Okay, now this is one of those aha quilts. So this is called Plus Points. Erica, we used our six inch cube and guess what size block we made? 
15 inches. 15 inches. Look Who at that. Who thought you could do that? Who? Apparently we did. Okay. <laughs> Apparently. So um, we used a six inch cube that can uh, companion corners or yep. angles. Yep. Because we have triangle and square. But think about it. That's why the cube system has big elements and smaller elements. So you can make blocks that That's size. Right. And again, all of these patterns are going to be free downloads at AccuQuilt.com. Yes. This is one of my favorites, Pam. You do love this one. I do. I love the Kay. colors. I love the design. Look at how pretty this is. And I want higher arms. So oh, you, can it's okay. It. So this is called Pieced Heart. And again, a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com full of half square triangles for days. But also look, we have some parallelograms in there and some rectangles. Squares and it's and just really a fun. great way to use up your scraps. Absolutely. I really like this one. I love the pink and the gray. I could get it done in time for Valentine's Day, right? You could. I could. This weekend. Okay. After oh my Christmas, gosh. what else Why is do there we to do? Such big ones. I'm so short. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is my bucket list quilt for 2021. I know why we picked this, because Pam loves it. I do love it. I'm a big modern quilter. Okay, so this is called Crazy Kites. And this is a perfect example of how we use two different sizes of cubes. So we use the 6-inch cube and the 12-inch cube to make these big, beautiful kite blocks. And, and I just kites? love it. I, I know, and they use variegated thread when they quilted it. It's really great. It's my bucket list quilt for next year. Yes. Okay. And I think we have one more. Our good friend Kay England made this. She lives in Indiana. She has and llamas. And I love this. This is, and I love this fabric as yes. well. We should talk this about the fabric. This kind of feels almost Christmassy. It is because it? it says like peace on earth, and then there's like peppermint candies and stuff. But you don't know until you look at it. Right. So this is called Starry Path Throw, not to be confused with the Starry Path Die. Correct. This is Starry Path Throw Quilt. And again, a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. Hey, Joe, Joe's new to our studio here. Right here, this is grunge. We it's love this. It's our favorite fabric of all. We love this. Okay, don't let anybody <laughs> tell you differently. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Don't forget, quilters, our cubes come in five different sizes. A six-inch finish block, yep. eight, nine, ten-inch finish block, and a 12-inch finish block. Should we okay. lay them out again? Do we need to show people again? We could. Let's Remember, do that real quick. Let's lay them out. So, again, we've got the six. If, you're, if you can't decide which, just get all five. Yeah, they're all on sale today. They all play well together. They've all got a place in your life. They do. There you go. There you go. There we go. There we go. All right. I think we should give away one last thing, okay, shall let's. we? I'm so excited. Okay. Eric and I, she, we just give stuff away. We do. So we're going to give away the 9-inch yes. mix and match cube, okay? Again, it has eight dies, a cutting mat, a pattern book, all in one, great, compact, all in one. so it stands look beautiful nicely. beautiful on the shelf in your sewing room. It is. And free patterns at QQuilt.com. Okay, our winner is... Bonnie S. from Beverly, Wisconsin, or West, West Virginia. Virginia. <laughs> she's off week, it's Christmas, you know. Listen, Christmas in a few days, I'm lucky I could read the Bonnie S. part. Good job, Bonnie. <laughs> We're going to send you a nine-inch cube. So, Bonnie, if you're looking to add companion sets, you want to add the nine-inch companion That's sets. right. That's right. And remember, for today only, you get that additional 15% off site-wide. Now, there are some exclusions. But that can mean up to 43% off of dies, up to 57% so off of the cutter, so buy yourself a cutter, and up to 31% off of the cubes. Now, this offer is only available until midnight. You want to visit AccuQuilt.com slash party yep. and use the codes COZY15 for the code when you check out to save. All these cubes are available. Yes. And other things as well. Yes. And remember that eight inch cube, the nine inch cube, the six inch cube, all three of those sizes, they're gonna be $165.74. That's it. It's it. You're saving over $54 on each one. And all those cubes will fit in your go me. Yes. And your go and your go big. That's all right. of them. Okay. Now to get your order in during the show right now, you can use your phone's camera. You can capture that QR image at the bottom of the screen and it'll take you right to the site. Don't forget, you can purchase all of these different products, all of our dyes, at AccuQuilt.com. Yes. Or from your local retailer. Excellent. All right, quilters. Now listen, tomorrow is Wednesday. That's right. And you'll definitely want to stop by tomorrow because for our AccuQuilt Live, I'm going to show you how to resize a block depending on the size cube you have. This is a great program. You are not going to want to miss this because we know you're getting cubes today on sale and you're going to see 
just how versatile they yep. are. Yeah, so I'm gonna take the nine inch cube. We're gonna make the pattern Nordic Winter, it's a great which is quilt. beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna show you, we have some really great um, resources on our site on how to resize those. So tomorrow, Wednesday, we have AccuQuilt Live every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time. That's right. Now, you'll also wanna register for our New Year, New You live event on Tuesday, January 5th, again, 12 noon central time. Will you be here? I will be here. I think I if will be here. If it's Tuesday, I'm here. It is. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today for this Cube Rewind. Remember, at AccuQuilt, we want to help you cut time. So you can quilt more. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs>